Alright, um, what I'm going to demonstrate is, uh, I'll just show you. I'm going to use my potion to fortify smithing 293,766%. I'm going to be showing you how to make potions and weapons this strong. Um, I did not mod or hack to do this. This is all done in-game. You could do it on your Xbox or PC. But uh, I'm going to smith these weapons. The number so high only shows the first three digits. Uh, you can tell by the price, though. The price of the item how strong it is and if you see in the bottom right I don't know if you can see it because my camera's so shitty but on the bottom right it says when I equip this weapon I do 392 million four hundred fifty seven thousand eight hundred and twenty four damage it only shows the first three digits so I'm going to equip that <clears throat> demonstrate how strong it is my buddy here is wearing armor that breaks a million so I'm gonna kill him in one shot <clears throat> um, so you can see the daedric armor he has breaks a million it's like seven million something so I'll be showing you how to do this all right armor like this weapons like that okay so just want to start off. You first, the first thing um, you need your alchemy skill. It's not necessary, but to take full advantage of this method, you need to do you need five out of five in alchemist, and you need the benefactor perk. Of course, you need your smithing skill if you want to smith your armors to be that strong, and enchanting if if you want to enchant if you plan on enchanting your armors and weapons. Alright, smithing like I have my Daedric, because I want to make Daedric armor. It allows me to smith my Daedric weapon stronger. Whatever, whatever armor you want. But what's important is the alchemy skill. I'm just going to be showing you how to make potions and weapons. I'm not going to talk too much about the enchanting. Um, anything I miss in this video, I will add in the description. I want to add that before I do anything, so make sure you read the description. Any updates or anything I found out or I did wrong in this video, I'll correct myself in the description. First thing you need, four pieces of armor to have Fortify Alchemy. Alright, I already have four here. It says you can cr create a potions are 29% more powerful. But, since I know most of you probably don't have it at 29%, our numbers are going to be different. So I'm going to smith armors starting from the beginning. Alright, I'm just going to show you how to start from square one. I'm going to remove everything from my inventory so it doesn't you don't get confused. Um, and I'm going to smith my four pieces of alchemy, fortify alchemy. Okay, so I just made my four pieces of armor that have fortify alchemy. It goes on the hat, gloves, necklace, and ring. So you equip your four pieces of equipment. And you also need ingredients to make fortify smithing, fortify enchanting, and fortify restoration. I'll show them here. These are the ingredients for fortify enchanting. I'll add it in the description of the video. And uh, these, are, these are the ingredients for fortify smithing. These are ingredients you need to do the glitch. Um, enchanting and smithing is optional based upon, I'm missing one, based upon what you want, based upon enchanting or smithing your gear. So I just made my potion of fortify restoration using two of these ingredients. Make sure you have a whole bunch of these ingredients if you want the glitch to work. So you make a fortify restoration potion and it says 120%. Um, I'm going to get rid of these two other potions so you don't get confused. Alright, so you, you get all those ingredients for Fortify Restoration and you use two of them to make a Fortify Restoration potion. And with the four pieces of armor I had that you guys should also have, it's 25% more powerful. Alright, so 
wear those four pieces, make a potion of Fortify Restoration, it should be 120%. It doesn't matter if your numbers are low or higher, it's still going to break a million. So you drink the potion, and this is important, you go and unequip all of your alchemy gear, the four gear you just made, and you re-equip them all. Let me clear out my inventory again so you don't get confused. Alright, I'll get back to where I was. I have my four pieces of equipment. I have Fortify Alchemy I just made. I drank the potion that I just made. I unequipped the gear and put it back on. And you can see that the number increased from 25% to 55. You equip the four pieces again and you make another Fortify Restoration Potion. And you see it goes to 422%. You do the same thing and do this process over and over. Unequip the four gear, drink the potion, unequip the four gear, and re-equip it. Now it says created potions are 130% more powerful. You can't go over here and look at it. You could, but the numbers are eventually going to be so high it will only show the first three digits. There is a limit to how much you can do this. Because if you go too high, the number will go to a negative, and it'll just it'll just fuck up everything you're trying to do. So make sure you save often. I'm just gonna fast forward the rest and do this a few times. Okay. Um. Take note that my equipment each now increases the next potion I make by a million and fifty seven thousand each so I'm gonna save here just in case the next potion I make goes into a negative Alright, uh. notice how my potion went too high, I did this on purpose to show you that there is a limit on how high it goes, so make sure you save often, and uh, it says the next potion I make is only 4% stronger for 60 seconds, that's, the, the armors I have, creative potions are only 26% more powerful, if you went this high, um, you're gonna have to reload your previous save. You can wait until your thing wears off, then you're gonna have to start all over again. So, load your previous save, and... Alright, I just loaded my game, and the number I made before was too strong that the following potion I made went to the negative. When you see that the number is above 20,000 or 10,000, stop around that number. Um, regardless of how strong it is, you're going to be killing everything in the game in one hit anyway. So, I'm going to do this once. It says the next one I make will be 61 million. That's too high. I'm just going to stick with what I have now. Weapons and armor will be increased by 2 million, that's fine. So make your potions of smithing and your potions of enchanting. Alright, now I'm going to check out my gear that I want to improve. Notice that while the restoration potion is still in effect, all the other equipment that I put on will be stronger. You see it says increases your health by 30,000, destruction spells cost 100. This is enchantments that I had on the gear before, and 
it gets stronger while that restoration potion is in effect because it counts as a restoration spell. So that will all wear off eventually. When that potion wears off, it'll go back to however strong it is before. The potions you make or have now will be weaker when that restoration potion wears off. So, eat, but when it goes into the negative, like the potion I made before that was in the negative, it'll stay in the negative when the potion wears off. You don't want anything that strong. So, going to take out my gear. Make sure you have all the the uh, items you need to improve your weapons and armor and drink your potion. You don't need your equipment that fortifies smithing because no matter what you do, it's going to break a million. The armor itself was over, it's a million already. The legs itself, everything's in 600,000. 600, The weapon says six six ninety two, but the number only shows the first three digits. If you look on the bottom, it says my sword is actually six hundred ninety two thousand six hundred seventeen. Right, I'm gonna demonstrate how strong this is. I'm gonna kill my buddy over here. He's wearing armor that breaks a million. So yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. That's all there is. If you have any questions, you can send me a message. Anything I miss in this video, I'll put in the description. Um, yeah.